What's up you guys, it's Jason from RPM and today we're going to be checking out the clutch fans for the 24 on up XP1000s. We have these for a ton of models including the older XP1000s, but when Polaris gave the XP1000 a facelift in 24, we kind of had to change some things up. The clutch fans, exhaust, all of our parts were a little bit different so that's where we're at with it. But this is what it looks like. This is a uh, 230 CFM fan. The fan itself is larger than the tube, so there's no restrictions. We get a lot of guys who claim that the clutch fans are restrictive, and how we get around that is why we increase the body of the fan compared to the tube itself, so that by the time you reduce the volume from the fan blade, it's equal to the volume of the tube as if it weren't there. So that's how we get around like, the whole restriction thing. So once you get above around 4,000, 5,000 RPM, your stock clutch will take over the CFM and blow through. Uh, anything below that, if you're parked, anytime the ignition is on, our, our clutch fan's running. So any rock crawling guys, slow trails, moving, guys throughout the dunes want to park on top of a dune and let their clutch cool down, all you got to do is leave the key on and uh, the clutch fan will run. So it sounds a little something like this. Is it firing up? Let me draw them through the intake. So anytime it's on, intaking air and pushing it down into the clutch and out the exhaust side of the clutch, which is on the back side of the motor. So that's how that works. If you have another model, any model machine, we likely have a clutch fan for it. So you can pick these up at rpmsxs.com. If you're looking for exhaust, we've got those too.